Those two vehicles you see behind me were crashed at 60 kilometres an hour and as you can see the impact is quite severe. Our goal over the next couple of weeks is to ensure that that doesn't happen. We're asking motorists, in particular when they're driving in unfamiliar areas, to slow down, make sure that they take regular rest breaks and comply with all our road rules. At the end of the day, when people are injured, generally it's because someone broke a simple road rule. So please, if you're driving long distances, stop, revive, survive, take a break every two hours and make sure you leave plenty of stopping distance to the vehicle in front of you. If you are travelling on holidays over the next couple of weeks, just bear in mind that you've probably got extra people in your car, extra luggage, and that'll give you extra weight. That vehicle will require extra stopping distance. We've had rain and hail in parts of the state over the last 24 hours and rain is predicted to fall over the next week or so. That will increase the issues in respect to braking distance. So please extend those braking distances, leave a gap. Instead of two to three seconds, make it four to six seconds. Your holiday will be ruined if anyone's seriously injured or killed, but even if your vehicle's just damaged slightly, that'll put a dent in your holiday. So please drive carefully, make sure people wear seatbelts and restrain and take those regular rest breaks.